Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry and as you know, we give you the best content and ensure that people who come here have been there and done that. So continuing that, we have Mr. Pankaj Kumar Samal who will be sharing his insights on IIT Bombay Munash uh, joint PhD program. And in this, he'll be talking starting from application deadlines to procedures, the interview and the exam and all the related things. So let's hear it from him. Before that, let me introduce Mr. Pankaj Kumar Samal. He did his master's from NIT Rahul Kela and then he worked as a project assistant at IIT Mandi. He later went on to do his postgraduate diploma in material science at JNCSR Bangalore. And he'll be pursuing his PhD from Charles University Prague. And not just that, he's also an author of the book, The Self-Preparation Guide for IIT Jam, Success Mantra. He's also a motivational uh, poet and has written several poems. One of them is uh, Soya to Jagja. So let's hear it from him. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for receiving latest updates on exams, research positions and guidance videos. So let's start the video. Hi, this is Pankaj, the author of the book IIT Jam Success Mantra and I am here to share with you some important information regarding the IIT Bombay and Monash University Australia joint PhD program. So in this video, I am going to talk about the detailed application procedure, the eligibility requirements and how to choose the right projects and at the end, I will also share with you uh, that what kind of questions they ask during the written test and interviews okay so before that let us know when you can apply for this position okay so generally they have two intake periods one is the june intake period and another is the december intake period for the june intake period they normally notify in the month of february or march and for the uh, december intake they normally notify in the month of september or october okay then the next question comes that who can apply for this position right so anyone having a first class master's degree or a first class bachelor's degree with a valid grade score can apply for this position and anyone having a first class bachelor's degree without a valid grade score can also apply if he has two years of professional experience okay so that is important and the next thing is the detailed application procedure okay so the application procedure consists of four steps first step is the general selection process second step is the project wise selection process the third step is con comprises of a written test and interview and the fourth stage is uh, another round of interview which will be taken by a joint selection committee okay so we'll discuss in detail about all these four steps okay so let us begin with the first step so for the first step you need to visit to the official website of iit iit bombay and monash university australia there you will find a link for submitting an expression of interest okay so in this expression of interest form you need to provide all your academic background details and if you have any kind of research experience like if you have done any kind of internship or you have done any research in your master's degree then you need to provide all these details there if you have any kind of uh, publication also then you are welcome to uh, submit those information there also along with that if you have any kind of entrance examination qualification or competitive exam qualifications like IIT JAM, NET gate or TOEFL, GRE, ILTS, you provide all those details there. Okay. So though it is not mandatory to provide this competitive examination details, but my advice is that if you have qualified more than these examinations, then you provide all those details because that will enhance your chance of getting selected. Okay. And once you are done with the submission of the expression of interest form, the next if you are selected for the next step then you will get a mail from the academy stating that you need to fill another form called form a okay in this form you have to provide an elaborated information about yourself and here also you need to choose the projects 
and choosing a right project is very important because that because since the sec second step is a project wise selection process so your chance of getting selected depends on how you are choosing your project so i am i will tell you how you can choose the right project okay so before choosing a project you visit to their official website there you will get a pool of projects available but for the ease of the students they have divided it into various clusters you look for your a desired clusters in which you want to apply okay and here desired does not mean you can apply for any project okay you first see what kind of research skills you have what kind of research experience you have and then with that you try to match those projects and you only choose those projects which matches with your research background okay that will enhance of enhance your chance of getting selected okay so in this way you can fill the project details in the form a in the form a will also ask some questions like why will you choose for this uh, phd program and uh, how your background matches with the positions or the projects you have chosen okay so be prepared to answer all these kind of questions in that form okay so after you done with filling this form and if you could successful in this stage then the next stage will be a written test and interview okay if you get success in the second step then you will be selected for some specific projects okay I, as i had already told that the first step was a general selection process and the second step is a project wise selection process okay so you may get selected for one project or more than one project also okay so depending on that uh, you will be notified that how in how many projects you have been selected okay and once you get notification that you have been selected the next step is to appear for the written test and interview so for the written test you need to visit to iit bombay campus okay so uh, and uh, they will provide the to and fro third ac train fare for travel but accommodation and food charge you need to be a okay so be prepared for that and uh, before that one another thing is that before the written examination the iit uh, sorry the monash university australia guide may take your interview through online either before the written test or maybe after the written test depending on the convenience of his timing and your timing okay so he will send you an email regarding that and you can discuss with him regarding that that timing okay so in that interview that you know, australian guide mainly asked uh, uh, questions regarding your research background your experiences your extracurricular activities so basically that would be a general kind of interview okay so after that you need to travel to iit bombay for the written examination and there you need to spend 3 days okay in the first day you have to appear for the written examination the written examination consists of three sections so in the first section comprises of uh, uh, general aptitude questions and mathematical aptitude questions the second section comprises of some review papers or some research articles and from those you need to choose one article and you have to comment on this, those articles you need to write the course uh, the i mean the benefits of um, that article what the drawbacks of that work research work so you need to write on uh, write on those things okay so the third section uh, in the third section you need to write a project proposal i have already told that you will be chosen for a project so you need to be prepared to write the proposal for that project okay and for doing all these things you will get only one hour of time okay and if you have you have been selected for more than one project then you will get uh, ex more extra 30 minutes or uh, depending upon the number of projects you have been selected you will get extra timings okay and once you are done with this written examination the next day you will be asked to appear for uh, the interview in front of your iit bombay guide okay so this interview may be a bit tougher i mean i'm not scaring you but this is the reality you need to be prepared thoroughly on your research background on your fundamentals 
what are the skills you have learned what are the characterization techniques or um, some basic fundamental questions uh, you need to be prepared for that okay and depending upon your performance on the full, uh, on the interview and written test they will access you and if you get selected for the next stage then the next stage next step will be another round of interview which will be taken by a joint um, selection committee comprising of both the senior officials from IIT Bombay and Monash University Australia and in this last round of interview they will mainly assess your communication skills and why you are interested in that project so that would be the main focus okay and if you clear all these stages and lucky enough uh, then you will get an opportunity to join this coveted uh, IIT Bombay Monash University Australia joint PhD program so I hope that this information was very helpful for you and this will help you in your application process so thank you